Hey, it's Alan Berg. Before we get into this episode, I'm starting something called Ask Me Anything. That's right. You submit your questions and they could become an entire episode or something that I answer at the end of an episode. To submit your questions, look for the red button at podcast.allenberg.com. That's right. Podcast.allenberg.com. Click on the red button, submit your question, and maybe you'll hear it here on the podcast. Thanks. Ooh, I love this. Ask me anything. And it's a great suggestion. You want to listen to this? Welcome to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Alan Berg. I'm a speaker, author, sales trainer, website reviewer, and I help businesses like yours sell more, profit more, and have more fun doing it. Enjoy this episode. Hi, it's Alan Berg. Welcome back to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. Thanks to Leon in the UK for this question. What they're asking is, over the years, what has changed in terms of what people are reaching out to me to help them with their business? He was He's a DJ, so he's asking what I'm helping DJs with. But I'm just going to expand this, Leon, if it's okay, into what have people been asking me. So in other words, in all the years that I've been doing this, are people still coming to me and asking for the same type of help for the same things, or are they asking for help with different things? So great, great question here, Leah. So let me let me expand this topic. I started doing consulting when I was selling wedding advertising, publishing wedding magazines, and then at the Knot as a sales director, the main speaker, vice president of sales, and so forth. So I, even though it wasn't my individual business, I was helping people because if I help my uh, customers, my advertisers do better business, they're going to continue to advertise, right? That's how I actually started speaking was by doing that. So I would say, you know, even then to the, what is it now? Gosh, 13 years since I, I left the knot as a VP, not a lot has changed in terms of the questions. In terms of the answers though, what's changed really goes to the technology that's different now versus then. So we didn't have AI you know, back then. We didn't have, um, people weren't necessarily texting at, at that point, you know, things like that. But in terms of what people are asking for, I think it's really a, a, not a lot has changed. If I go back to the days of, I, I should date myself here, but BI before the internet, you know, when people are doing business on the phone and people were doing business face to face, that that's how it was happening. People were complaining that I, you know, somebody inquires and then I don't hear from them, right? Or I call somebody back and they don't re reply to me. And then it became texting and emailing and faxing way back in the day and things like that. So I think it's just the technology that's changed, Leon. I don't think it's actually um, the question is really the same, which is how do I convert more of the people that are inquiring to sales? Now, we didn't use the phrase ghosting years ago. I'm trying to think of when when I started hearing it, you know, what is it, maybe 10 years ago, you know, maybe not even 10 years ago, because it was, you know, less than that. And when I wrote, why are they ghosting me only because it was just really bubbling up. I'm sure the phrase was out there. It just didn't hit kind of mainstream um, until maybe within the last five to 10 years. So ghosting was happening. It just, we didn't use that phrase ghosting. People were just frustrated because people wouldn't get back to them, right? They would respond to that inquiry. They wouldn't get back to them. So closing the sale, converting leads, that is a perpetual thing. Um, it's kind of one of the beautiful things about my business is that it's evergreen in terms of the wedding and event industry is filled with creative people. And this is another thing that hasn't changed, Leon. Creative people who mostly got into their industry for the creative aspect, right? So you as a DJ love music. You love helping people have a great time through your music. And that doesn't make you a great salesperson. Right. And if you took pictures uh, like uh, my son's partner, uh, she took pictures uh, when in college and then after. And, you know, then all of a sudden she's shooting families and then food and then weddings. And that doesn't make them a great business person. It just means that they're great at photography. So I think what also hasn't changed is the need for people to really focus on the business side of their business in order to have a profitable business. Because it's easy to be a weekend warrior when you have a day job and your, your benefits are covered and stuff. And that extra money is great. But when it becomes your full-time thing, or even if you're weekend warrior stuff, you treat it like a full-time business, which you should, right? And then you start to think, okay, am I being profitable? Am I investing the time? Am I doing the right things? 
I think that's where you realize that you need the business skills. So I, if I had to pick one thing, I would say it's the need for having better business, more profitable business that hasn't changed. Uh, converting more leads that hasn't changed. I think the only thing that's really changed is, is the technology. I mean, that's why I focus on this end of it. Uh, when I talk about websites, I, walk, I talk about website usability, not the technology. You know, I, my, my first book, it's, uh, it, it, if you're watching, it's behind me, the yellow blue cover. If your website was an employee, would you fire it? Is not a book on how to build a website because that wouldn't be evergreen. You'd have to learn the new technologies and the, the new, you know, the new forms and structures and things like that, coding and all, right? It's about thinking about your website. Uh, my next book that I'm working on with my friend Brian is going to be the follow-up to that. And we're, I'm, we're going to be talking about usability and when it's time for a new website and the things that you're doing that are hurting your conversion. But again, not specifically the technology because that can and will change. You know, whether it's WordPress today and then something else five years from now, the need for people to find what they're looking for and make the take the action that you want them to take, that doesn't change. It's just it's going to be with a different technology. Maybe, right? <laughs> Who knows? Same reason I don't speak about social media much except strategy, because Today it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, you know, down the line, who knows what the next one will be, right? It used to be Twitter X, right? It's X now um, for the wedding and event industry. It's a non-issue, right? People don't use that. So if I was, if I had a book that I wrote about how to use Twitter for your wedding business, that book would be out of print because it wouldn't be relevant today. Um, so that's why I don't talk about that stuff. So the stuff that I do is, is evergreen. Um, and uh, I, I believe I can do this as long as I want to, because there's always new people coming into the industry and there's always people that have been in the industry that are having trouble adapting to whatever's going on. Like right now I talk about the COVID hangover and, and, and the wedding gap and things like that, that stuff we're having to adapt to. And a lot of people need my help now because they're not converting the leads as much as they want. They're getting ghosted more than they want They're They, they don't know how to follow up better and stuff like that. So, uh, Leon, thank you so much for this. Ask me anything. I, I love talking about this. I appreciate you asking more of a personal question for me, but it really turns back around to you is what do you need? Has that changed now from five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago? And the answer is no. From a high level and even a medium level, no, it really hasn't changed at all. So keep the suggestions coming. Go to podcast.allenberg.com. Click on the button there for Ask Me Anything. Make your submission there of a topic you'd like to hear, um, or maybe even a guest that you'd like to, to see me have on. And uh, I'd love to answer your questions. Thanks again, Leon. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel and post a review on your chosen platform, Apple Podcasts or whichever one. If you have any questions about anything in this episode or any of my episodes, email me directly at alan at weddingbusinesssolutions.com or visit my website, allenberg.com, A-L-A-N-B-E-R-G.com. If you have any suggestions for future topics or guests that you'd like to see, please again, email me or visit my website. Thanks for listening.